Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking you through the resources system in Survival Game Kit V2. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to add a uh, resource that you can hit and then a resource that you can interact with. Um, it's super easy, so we'll uh, just get started. Um, first, we're going to head to the Blueprints folder and then to the Resources folder. Now, there's um, the easiest way to do this really is to just duplicate an existing one. Um, so if I took the wood resources, for example, I can literally just duplicate it um, and I'll call this, I'm gonna make my resource give um, apples, for example. So I'll call this the apples resource and we'll open it up quickly. And in here is where you'll find um, the items that the resource will return. So um, currently it's set to wood, but I'm gonna set mine to apple. You can set um, the min and max resource count. So um, the amount, this is the amount of resources um, the player will be able to um, collect from it. Um, and you can set a sort of random value. Um, here we can set what happens when um, the resource is depleted. So um, this one's currently set to fall over, um, but I'm gonna set mine to none because um, I'm just gonna be using a cube. Um, currently there's only two options you can see here. Um, there may be more added in the future. Um, I'll show you where you can add uh, your own effects if you want um, a little bit later in the video. Um, you can set the mesh hide time. So um, if I did set this to fall over, it would be, um, the mesh would be hidden after 10 seconds. So you can set that there. Uh, we can set a sound, so it'll play the sound when it depletes. Um, we can scroll down and we can set our respawn settings. So um, does res uh, resource respawn? We, we can leave this to true. And then this is how long um, our resource will uh, take to respawn. So those are pretty much the only settings that we need to worry about in here. Um, and this is, this is where you set all of those things up. So um, I'm kind of happy with how it is um, like this. So I'm just gonna save that. And then there's one other blueprint we need to um, sort of create for our Apple resource. And you'll find that in the blueprints. And then to components, foliage. And these are our um, foliage components. So I'm gonna do the same thing I did before. I'm just gonna duplicate the wood resource. Um, I'm duplicating the wood one um, because this is the resource that uh, we're going to set it up so if you hit you'll receive the items um, similar to the way the trees work um, so we'll call this one bp underscore um, apples resource component so it matches the uh, names of the rest of our um, components we'll open that up and this one's really simple um, all it is is um, we want to set the uh, resource blueprint to the one we just created. So you can see my apples one is right there. I can just select that. Um, we can leave this as false for now. Um, this is basically checked on if we're doing a interact resource, um, which I'll show you how to do after we've done this. So once we've done that, we're all good. So we can compile and save this. And then we're going to um, go to uh, foliage types. So these are the things that you drag into uh, the foliage painter to be able to um, paint into the level. So we'll just open that up and um, I'm just gonna duplicate the tree again because it's just, it's easier than creating a brand new one from scratch. Um, and we'll call this apple underscore 01. We'll open this up. And this is where we set our actual mesh. Um, so I don't actually have uh, a mesh for this. So I'm just gonna use the uh, one meter cube. Um, and you'll see component class is currently set to our wood resource component. We're gonna change that to our apple resource component. And so uh, that basically tells the system that when we hit this cube, um, we wanna use the information stored in the apple resources component. And in there, it tells us that we're using the apples resource. So um, that's all we really need to worry about in here. Um, maybe make sure that your collision presets is set to block all, um, because if it's not, um, the system won't know that you're hitting this cube. So we can save this now, and we can actually drag this into our foliage type, select it, and here 
uh, single, I'm going to turn on single instance mode because that just lets me uh, place one down into the level. Um, I'm going to move it up a little bit because it's quite close to the ground um, just so it's easier to hit. Um, so we've got our new resource in the level um, all set up but we need to set our um, axe or whatever melee weapon you want to be able to actually harvest uh, this resource. So to do that we're going to go to our blueprints folder items, uh, holdable items and I'm just going to open up the axe and in our class defaults I'm going to search for resource and you can see um, under harvestable resources uh, you can see it's already set for wood resource um, but we'll add a new one and that will be element one we'll set the class to apple resource and the these are our min max values so um, when you hit it you'll receive um, a value between the min and the max so I'll just set this to one and three for example and we can compile and save that once that's done we can jump into the level and give this a try so I'm just going to quickly pick up an axe and when we hit you can see we uh, collect our apples um, and I have an inventory full of apples now um, if when you hit it uh, hit your resource um, you don't uh, collect any items um, make sure that your mesh actually has collision um, I'll quickly show you how to do this um, if you go to go to your mesh so I'll just go to the cube um, and in the mesh editor go to collision and tick on simple collision you can see I've got this green uh, outline of a box that means I actually have collision on this this mesh um, if you don't um, you need to go to collision and you can pick from one of the collision options each one does something a little bit different you can try it out and find which one best sort of matches your uh, mesh um, but that's really important if you don't have this green outline then you won't be able to uh, hit the resource if after you um, add your collision you still can't uh, collect resources one other thing to make sure is um, I'm going to click show pivot point your pivot point should up be at the bottom um, actually that this mesh isn't a good example I'll show you on the tree um, if I open up the tree um, and I show the pivot point you can see it's at the bottom center of the mesh if the pivot point was way off over here um, the tree wouldn't collect properly it wouldn't harvest the resources properly so make sure that your pivot point is at the bottom uh, center of your mesh um, Next, I'm going to show you how to do the interactable resources. So that's uh, these ones here, like the bushes and the tree stumps. Um, we'll go through and I'll show you how to add those. So next, I'll show you how to uh, add those um, interaction uh, resources. So it's exactly the same, really, as the uh, last ones. So we'll go to blueprints. We'll start in resources. Um, for this, I'll create a duplicate of the berries. Again, it's just easier to duplicate an existing interactive resource. Um, and I'll call this uh, apple. And um, so it'll be interactive apple resource. And we can open that up. Um, again, the settings are pretty much identical to, um, to the resource we just added. Um, we can uh, set our, I'm going to set my apple in here like that and um, yeah you can set your uh, respawn and despawn stuff um, as you like um, I won't go over those again because we just did that so we can save that and we can then go to blueprints components foliage um, I'm going to duplicate my interactive berries again um, not again sorry interactive berries and I'll rename this to interactive apples we go apples component and we can open that up and in here we can set our, um, our interactive apple resources um, blueprint that we just created and you can see that in this blueprint our uh, interaction harvesting is actually turned on um, this is because we duplicated the the berries uh, one um, but if you're making an interactive one you need to make sure that this is um, turned on um, that's all of the settings we need to set in here so once we've done that we can just compile 
and next we're going to go back to our main folder then to foliage types and um, we'll just duplicate the berries bush again um, just to make it easier we'll call this apples uh, bush and we'll um, we'll open that up and again in here we can set our mesh so I'm just going to use the cube again um, like that and again the important part is the component class so um, for this we wanted to use our interactive apples resource component um, there is an important part about this for um, our interactive uh, resources um, the interaction uh, channel here must be set to block um, otherwise we won't be able to interact with this bush um, you can see that by default this is actually set to ignore um, all of these um, including our pawn this means that um, our characters will be able to walk through this cube um, this is useful if you are making a bush um, but if you want to um, have it so that the character can't walk through it we can just set this to block all um, but for this I'm actually going to leave mine so I can walk through it so I'm just going to take interaction on uh, grid on and visibility on like it was by default and we can save that and now we can just drag this into our foliage type again make sure we select it on and we can click that in and if I hit play I should be able to interact with it um, and you can see it actually still says berries so we can fix that quickly but if I interact you see I collected my apples and the resource disappeared um, I'll quickly show you how to change the name because uh, I forgot about that. We can just go back to our blueprints, our resources folder, open up our interactive apples resource. If you search for name in the class defaults, you'll see interaction uh, name. And we can set this to whatever we like. So I'm going to set mine to apples, compile that. And if I jump in, you can see it says apples now. So that's pretty much it for the resource system. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Um, don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching.